Hey guys, um, I'm going to show you how to uh, back up your um, G1 ROM, like exactly how it is, all the applications, the theme, the contacts, anything you have on here will be backed up, all the settings, it's really cool, it's called Switch ROM, so I'm going to show you how to do that right now, so we're going to want to boot into recovery mode, so we're going to power off the phone. By the way, if you saw my tweets, this is the case I was talking about. The white case. I kind of like it, I think. I'm not really sure. So, boot and recover, you're going to hold home and power just until it vibrates. And you can let go. You don't want. A lot of people think you have to hold them down. You don't. It'll go into recovery, and you'll have a couple options. Uh, this is if you're running the same recovery. Some recoveries will look different, I suggest using um, this recovery right here. Uh, focus. I suggest using that recovery. I can't really see it that well. But it's Amonra's uh, Dream 1.5.0. So you'll see some options here. You'll see go to console. You'll see all that. Usually people will wipe stuff and then you know, what you need to do is go to console. You're going to want to do that. You say press enter. So you're going to press enter, and then you're going to type this, and you're going to type switch ROM. Switch ROM, and then you're going to press space. You're going to press dash S, and then name your theme. So I'll name it Cyanogen. Uh, 4.2.7.1 and then I'll put Dark Star and I'll press enter and I'll say you are trying to save this ROM do you want to proceed? Y for yes and for no press Y for yes so saving app data Say storing the Android backup. I was taking a while. I just want to show you guys how long it'll take, just so you know. And you're done. And then you can type. And then to restore it, oh, let's show you how to restore it. You're gonna put. If you're on a different ROM, any other ROM, without wiping, you put switch ROM oops, dash R and then name your theme. If you don't know the, what you, if you don't remember what you called it, you can do dash L, press enter. It'll give you a list of the of the things you saved, which is really cool. Um, I like it. So that's and then you can press reboot. It'll reboot. As you'd expect from the command reboot. Thank you. 
into uh, Dark Star, if you have Dark Star. So if you don't see this, this is fine. This is just a boot up screen for my thing that I'm using. It's called Dark Star. It is really good. It makes my battery last at least not eight or nine hours of the day. That's about four hours more than it would last without the so I'm not sure how it does it, but it does. And it does really well. So. Wait for this boot up. I want to give you a sense of how long this process actually takes. And the button is lit up, which means almost done. And there it is. There it is. Well, it's probably for a load, I guess. There is our Dark Star almost. And that we just saved and the ROM with everything in it. That is. Everything is intact. I'll show you. Once that comes up. Everything is intact. Um, I think it even saves... Yeah, it even saves your, um... The... 10 megabyte uh, RAM hack if you use that as you can see right there. It saves that. So there you go guys, that's how to make a man or not an Android, a um, switch ROM backup. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any requests for iPhone or Android videos, be sure to comment them on this video or comment on the channel or whatever and we will get to them as soon as we can. Alright, see you later guys.